New Mexico State men's basketball team began practicing earlier this month with a renewed focus on winning a WAC title with this year's squad. After losing Aggie greats Wendell McInnes, Ernst LaRoche, and Hamadou Rahman to graduation, sophomore Daniel Mullins and senior Tyrone Watson have enjoyed putting in the work to help the team return to the top. It feels good. We had a good summer, a good off season, and kind of just anticipating the season coming up. I'm just excited to play with one another. We know that this year's team is a lot different than last year's, so we're looking forward to just bonding together and getting the team chemistry out of the way. So by the time conference rolls around, we're ready to roll. We're just trying to get everybody on the same page and everybody together. And so far, everything's going good. There's going to be a few mistakes here and there, but we're all learning together as a unit. Along with senior Banja C, Watson knows he will be called upon to be a leader this season. As Watson saw after the 2009 campaign when the team made the NCAA tournament, one of his biggest challenges will be trying to keep the team focused on repeating as WAC champs. Just staying humble for the most part was probably the biggest challenge because you're always expected to go out and win and defend your title. With seven Aggies on the roster that are either new to the program or sat out last year with red shirts, there should be plenty of hunger amongst the team to do well. Entering his sixth season in charge, head coach Marvin Menzies hopes that hunger leads the team deeper into the NCAA tournament this year. We want to win when we get there. We want to, you know, make make some noise when we dance. Instead of just showing up and punching our ticket, you know, we want to we want to reap some benefits of, of being there and, and create an opportunity for the school to receive an amazing amount of of, of, of extra free publicity and branding. Um, so that's, that's our goal, you know, it's, for, it's not just for us, it's for the whole university to, to be able to, to advance by that recognition. After ranking 11th in the nation last year in scoring, Watson believes this year's team has what it takes to be back near the top of that list. I think we're going to put fast players out there. Um, we're going to have a lot more assists, some more team basketball, and um, I think it'll be exciting, a lot of highlights. we got Bollinger flying all over the place, we got Daniel Mullins flying all over the place, and then we got you know, the big beast in the middle, Chile, so it, it'll be it'll be quite it'll be quite the show. So I, I urge Las Cruces to come out to the games. I really like the, the character, I like our everything about the direction of the program, from our academic uh, uh, successes to to how the guys are handling themselves on the on the uh, campus and and there's just, just a lot to be excited about and uh, obviously we're, we're talented in athletics so now the question is can we win? <laughs> so we'll find that out I guess shortly. Aggie fans will have 16 chances to come out and see the Aggies win including Thursday November 15th when the Aggies open their home schedule against Southeastern Louisiana. For Aggie Vision, I'm Luke Barron.